What's up, my boys? What up? You have been asking a lot of uh, the same questions. When are we gonna see Amaze family? Because so far you've only seen my goofy parents. But today... We are gonna meet my grandparents because they flew in yesterday. Hi! Good morning! Good morning! We don't have much planned because... Um, we just want to chill. It's all about family, so we are going to take you along for a chill day where we uh, hang out and, uh, spoiler alert, we might be going to Sintra, we might be going to the water. The summer is here, it's warm, it's nice, it can only be a great day. Let's go. See you downstairs. Uh, you have a now. So this is a home video with Amalia and Jon. Er I klar til en god dag? Ja, det kan yes. jeg tro, vi er lige så gode som i går. Vi skal til Sintra, som er sådan ja. en, en by oppe i bjergene, som er super smuk. Det er sådan en lille eventyrland. Og så skal vi lige høre lidt mere om Amalie som, øh, som, som barn. Ja, men, hun øh, var det sødeste <laughs> barn, man kan tænke sig. For det meste. Ja. Hun løg aldrig og stak af til koncerter og sådan noget, oh, uden at uh, accept. Hun hjemme hos os, der var hun bare <laughs> så sød. Hjemme hos mit far, mor og far, for der måtte jeg også meget mere, så jeg behøvede ikke at lyve. Jeg kunne bare Nej. få lov. <laughs> og vi havde sådan nogle gode dameture, hvor vi var ude og købte tøj. Jeg var måske lidt mere, så det må du gerne få, selvom det var lidt kort og nedover. Det er måske, en af, det er måske dig, der også til, at Amalie hun er en af vores største udgiftskilder i dag. Ja, det tror jeg. Jeg vil godt påtage mig det, der skyld. <laughs> Lad os køre. Ja. Er det okay? We are here. We are in Montserrat. If you are completely unaware of Sintra, this is the most fairy tale ish place in the world. There are so many castles here and we've been to most of them but we wanted to come to Montserrat because this is the least touristy one and also it's one of the most beautiful uh, castles. And the botanical garden here has flowers and spices and roses and everything from all around the world because the man who actually established this area he was an Englishman called from the Cook family and he was the first Englishman to build a giant palace here and he loved flowers and plants so he collected them like people collect art. He had a woman brain. And also he actually collected art but we get back to that later. So do we take it perfect Look at this tree here. That is a stubborn tree. As I said and I keep saying it but this looks like a fairy tale world. The best part about here today is that there's almost zero tourists we which is very rare for Sintra because this is prob probably the most touristy spot out of all of Portugal Welcome to Montserrat Palace. This is what we're here for. An absolutely incredible work of Leonardo da Vinci artistry level. So this palace was once an old ruin and a British millionaire in the textile business, Mr. Cook, he loved the ruin so much that he wanted to build something nice out of it. He wanted to create a vacation home for, for he and his family and this was the result of it. We just walked inside and immediately when you come in here, you can feel the Indian architecture because it's so different from all the other palaces that you see here in Sintra. It has to be some of the most interesting per people who lived back then, at least the owners of this castle, because imagine the amount of eccentric personality and colorful minds you would have to have to build these playgrounds. Like look at this for example, this is carved marble just imagine the man hours that went into this i didn't even think that you could actually 
carve marble like this. It's absolutely incredible. What do you guys think about this place? A nice summer house. So the Abrindi for 1540. Yeah, they are the ruins that they bought later. So the Jurskel in 1765 was actually this building. Yeah. And it was that ruin that he also bought later. Yeah. In 1756. Yeah. Portuguese state. We know a lot about the history here. Francis Cook, he was very interested in art, and since he was so rich, he was an art collector. And he had one painting here that is particularly interesting. It's called Salvamundi, a Leonardo da Vinci painting that was hanging in uh, the comfort of his uh, cottage house here. And just to give you an idea of how special this painting was, it was sold uh, back in 2017 to, of course, a sheik for 450 million dollars. This guy was so rich that he probably had his own private jet back then. Wouldn't be surprised. They even had air condition back then. Get here early because now the tourists are coming. Sometimes, but the nice part about this room is also that it's actually inspired by the church in Venice. By the, by the dome in Florence. The dome in Florence. Florence. Yes. We are in the library, and honestly, imagine how many books we have had. I don't think I've read that many books, and I will. Oh, never. you don't. Oh, you don't think I that? Don't I think Emil, you've read as many books as there are on the shelves here. <laughs> like imagine if this was your office desk. Maybe you would make some work then. Oh, I work all the time. I work all the time. While I edit Amelia, she will cook me some dinner here. Amelia, I would like some Chinese. Yeah, I mean. Or Indian. Indian. Indian is more appropriate here. What about changing people in the room? So we're going down to the basement. This is where Josef Fritzl hangs out. That is very modern from its time, huh? Wow, that's the boss kitchen. Check out the. That is cool. I would love to have a kitchen this size. The main kitchen? Yeah. That must have been the main kitchen. Look how beautiful this stove is. That was a quick-ish preview of Montserrat Palace. Now it's time to go to the water because Joan and I are so starving. So we are going to go and have some food. <sighs> I have been so excited to show my grandparents Asenia Stuma because that is just in their spirit. But somehow it's super windy, I'm freezing. And it does not look as charming as last time we were here. Welcome to Asinias Duma. It's really, really cool. It has a coastal, like, relaxed vibe. Apparently, they are um, renovating it here. Which so, um, yeah, but their restaurant is still open, so you can still have some food here and just enjoy the. Which I'm glad of, otherwise, my temper would have gone wild. No. <laughs> but the funny thing is that. Right now it's 17 degrees, in Lisbon it's 26. It's a huge difference in, in temperature and you forget that when you leave Lisbon. Are you salty, Ole? No. Not really? I want to eat egg and bacon tomorrow. Yeah, but it's all the man has need for. But I want to eat a little bit. You want to buy a bar, eh? No. I want to buy a bar. Thank you. 
Cheers, everyone. <laughs> Super great food here, by the way. Was not aware of the fact that there was a giant restaurant here because when we were here last time, people were just sitting down here. There was a little bar. Very nice. When we get uh, famous on YouTube and uh, everybody wants to pay to work with us, we should get a little house here. I would love that. Probably it will take a few years. What do you think? Uh, I live here. Do, will we no. ever get big enough on YouTube to uh, have money enough to buy something here? Yes, yeah. And I will come and visit you. Yes, <laughs> you are most welcome. <laughs> we are at Cabo, Cabo Roca, the most western point of Europe. My dress is falling off. I think we need to go back to the car. <laughs> you look like Chewbacca. I know. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Wonderful day with little to this light here. Very relaxed day with almost no plan whatsoever, but very happy to see Montserrat Palace. That was very recommendable. The old folks are having a grandpa, a a li literally a grandpa. And um, now that we are here chilling, we uh, might as well address something obvious. This guy. Two days ago, I wanted to shave and then I put it at uh, 0 0.5 mils instead of 5 mils and then suddenly I had no beard and then no beard and then my hair was just all messy and then I made a poll on my Instagram, uh, go follow by the way, hey, should I bald myself or keep the hair? We're gonna make a poll, should I remove my hair or not? because I just accidentally removed my beard, so I might as well go all in. You voted for it, you're getting it. <laughs> Ready, I'm scared. You like this, huh, you like this? So now nobody can make fun of the hair that you don't have. Exactly, because there's been so many of you guys uh, teasing me, saying that that guy has a receding hairline that is faster than a tsunami. So what are you gonna tease me with now? They are gonna find something you want. You're gonna call me a Nazi? That's not fair. The difference between you and me is that I have to buy products to make my hair less thick and you has to <laughs> buy products to make it appear. Thank you very much for that. Rela the relaxation therapy session is continuing on the rooftop. Ole, der er rødvin her. Rødvin her. Tak skal du have. Du får vand. Jeg får vand. Ja, jeg holder mig på vandvognen. Jeg skal købe. <laughs> Disciplinen hersker bedst herovre. Ja. På alle punkter. Ja. Vi andre nyder livet. Ja. Skål. Tak for en god dag. Ja, selv, ja, selv tak. Selv tak. Næste gang så sørger vi for, at øh, vi kan få en overnatning på paladset. Det synes jeg er på sin plads, ikke? Det synes jeg er enig også. So guys, now you finally got what you asked for. You did see some of my family. My family is quite big, but here is my grandparents. So um, any uh, final words before you say bye to our amazing uh, audience? <laughs> yes, a, a very, very important word. Yes? Uh, you'll come again. You'll come yeah. again. <laughs> Thank you. Well, Thank cheers you. on that. Cheers. Cheers. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Until <laughs> logo. Until logo. Ciao, ciao. Det betyder, at øh, vi ses indtil, indtil næste gang. Until next time. Vi hasta, ses. Hasta luego. Atel logo. Yeah. Men vi siger atel lego, fordi det er portugisisk og dansk. Atel lego, oh. ikke? Så vi har lego, og vi har yeah. atel, yeah. ikke? Yeah. Coming on a t-shirt near you very soon. Buy that. Merch. <laughs>